ERA is joining in uh, with more details on what the RBI has done, sent out a letter to oil marketing companies to go ahead and purchase 50% of the dollar needs right now, ERA. Uh, Devina, this is news that's coming out from the oil marketing company side. Uh, the RBI itself has not put out any notification, so let me just start by that. Uh, but it looks like what has been done is, uh, you know, something equivalent to a special dollar window for oil companies, uh, which we've been speculating and talking about uh, for quite a while now. Uh, and what seems to be coming out is that 50% of uh, forex needs for any of these oil companies, the large PSU oil companies, that is, uh, would be sourced through State Bank of India. Uh, now, one assumes, and this is an assumption that we are making. Uh, is that the RBI would supply dollars to the SBI uh, and SBI would then in part uh, you know, supply it to these oil companies uh, so that 50% of chunk of demand that comes in from oil importers uh, would get taken out of the active market, sort of the uh, spot buying market. Uh, in terms of the rate, uh, it looks, and again this is news that's coming in from the oil company side, not from the central bank, uh, it looks like the rate at which they would uh, be selling is the reference rate which the RBI puts out every day. Uh, on a daily basis, the RBI puts out a reference rate uh, which is basically an average so you know it's more or less at the market rate uh, but you know that average would be the rate uh, at which uh, it would sort of go to the state bank of india and then state bank of india uh, would sell to these oil companies uh, you know this news came out about five minutes back so the market would still be digesting it this is not what was done the last time uh, when there was a dollar window which was open for oil companies. So, you know, this seems like uh, more sort of a stealth way of uh, getting a little bit of uh, demand pressure out of the market. Uh, but let's uh, put the rupee up uh, once more time. I just want to see if there's any reaction of the rupee uh, on the rupee of this. Uh, you know, oil companies uh, will uh, benefit at some point, of course. But uh, for the currency, at least right now, it's not responding to it at all. 57.17, uh, you know, since you broke that 57 la uh, mark, I think there was a little bit of a, a nervousness or, uh, you know, incremental nervousness that's coming to the market. Uh, people were expecting 57 to hold. People were expecting 57.10 to hold. It's gone to 57.17. 57.35 is the next level to watch. So at least so far, until we get greater clarity on this, uh, you know, sort of special, some sort of window that has been created for oil companies, uh, the market doesn't seem to be responding to it. We'll get more details on that, uh, but just tossing it back to you as of now. Right. Ira, last time around, I mean, you know, there were some reports, some dealer reports about them coming in and selling dollars in the market. While this is one way that they've done it, is there a likelihood that you could probably see them coming out and selling some dollars again this time? No, no, they've been doing that yeah. consistently. I mean, you know, dollar selling from the Reserve Bank of India has been happening for a while. It's just the quantum of dollar selling which makes a difference or a dent in the tra trajectory on the rupee. So even through this week, I mean, they've been there in bits and pieces. Whenever there's volatility, uh, the Reserve Bank of India comes in. Uh, the question is, do they come in in a strong fashion uh, to reverse what's happening on the currency in terms of direction? Uh, so far this week, you have not seen that and you've seen quite a damage of 3% uh, plus now uh, on the rupee this week. But then, you know, that's been driven by some sort of fundamental factors perhaps and the RBI may not have felt the need to come in. Now when you're seeing this kind of sort of steep slide and this uh, you know very sudden slide come in, uh, maybe the RBI will come in, we don't know. Uh, but you know, what's the second half of trade? Uh, see if uh, you see a sudden jump up or a sudden bounce up in the rupee uh, and that would be an indication. Remember the RBI never confirms that they have come in. You don't get that data until much later. Uh, but when you see a sudden reversal in the rupee, uh, you know, that's generally seen as a sign of RBI intervention. But they've been there in the market. It's just that they haven't come in in any large quantum until now. So let's, let's watch uh, this on a minute-to-minute -minute basis. All right, Ira, thanks a lot for that. Uh, we're watching out for the rupee very closely. Do you have the IndyTV Profit app? All the markets, all the news in your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndyTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.